Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to be giving you guys over 100 wishlist ideas. I said for teen girls, this really can be for anyone, but I'm 18, so this is just stuff that I think I would want. So I spent some time searching Pinterest, Instagram, asking my friends, and consulting my own wish list to put together some ideas that you guys can ask for, or if you're watching this video, looking for what to get a teenage girl in your life. Hopefully this will help you guys out. Make sure to subscribe, and let's get on with it. I separated this into a couple different categories. First category is clothes. So first, I put a crop vest. I really love the look of these. I've had one for a couple years now. It's a good transitional piece but also on those days that aren't that cold i will wear a sweater and a vest over top next is a white fox hoodie these are just so trendy i have a couple on my wish list because i just think they're so cute my favorite thing is to be able to look like i put a lot of effort into an outfit when it really is just super simple and comfortable the third item is a north face puffer that's what i have i'm actually obsessed with it it keeps me super warm but it's still super adorable and they're very trendy but you can also get those kinds of puffers from a lot of different brands next are bodysuits from skims that seems very specific but they're just such high quality i personally don't even have any yet they're on my wish list but a couple of my friends do and i've borrowed them before for. They just look so good and they feel good. I feel like the price difference is justified because they're actually such high quality. Number five is also from Skims. They're long sleeve seamless shirts. I think that these are actually just so adorable in the winter. They're good layering pieces. They're well fitting while also just being staple basics. Number six, Lululemon leggings. You can actually just never go wrong with these. I'm wearing them right now. I have so many pairs at this point. I've been wearing Lululemon leggings for like six years now. Such high quality. I understand their pricing because they're going to last you a very long time and I've yet to find any that are as high quality. Number seven are some well fitting jeans. I personally love Zara jeans, but you can get them also at Abercrombie. I know I have a couple pairs of jeans from Shein that are surprisingly really well fitting. Zara is always just my go-to. Number eight, an essentials hoodie. I personally don't have one and I don't think I'm going to be asking for one, but I know some of my friends have them and they're super adorable. Number nine, Brandy Melville pajama sets. So they don't come as sets. You do need to buy the tops and the bottoms separately, but they're honestly the most comfortable and adorable things ever. I have so many sets. I wear those all the time. Number 10, going out tops from Addicted. Now this obviously depends on their age and like if they're in college or not, but I know I did ask for quite a few tops from Addicted that I'll be using for going out. Addicted always has some sales going on like 50 to 80% off so just be on the lookout for those but they're super high quality for the price. I feel like they're reasonable. They honestly always have like the cutest trendiest stuff. Number 11 are leather pants. You can honestly get these anywhere. They're so trendy that literally every place sells them now. I know Addicted sells them. I have a pair from Zara as well as a pair from Shein and these just elevate your outfits. It's something different than wearing jeans. It's a little dressier. I wear them for different occasions. I just think that they're so fun to style. Next up are cargo pants similar to the leather pants. It's just a different variety. It just gives you the option to switch it up a little bit in your everyday outfits then lastly in the clothes category is a leather jacket if you find one that's well fitting you're gonna wear it for a very long time and just have it i feel like those never go out of style next up i'm moving on to shoes first in this category are uggs of all kinds there's the tasmans the minis the platforms and just the general slippers i feel like they're all pretty trendy and easy to style so i feel like someone would be happy with any of them next up are adidas sambas personally don't have them but i know that these are very trendy right now and i think that they're cute to style next up any sort of low dunks i personally am not that into shoes i just get a couple basic and rotate but I do have pandas which literally are the most basic dunks you can get but I style them in so many different ways and I feel like they're so versatile but if someone's really into sneakers getting them a pair of dunks that they've been wanting would probably be like the best gift ever lastly in shoes are high top converse these are super basic but I have all the basic colors and I just rotate through them I wear them all the time next up moving on to makeup and skincare this is by far the biggest category first up is the ordinary skincare this is what I use it's super affordable for how high quality it is and I'm actually obsessed with it ever since I tried that I really haven't moved off of it that is my skincare and I'm gonna stick with it for a while. I always just ask for refills of the skincare that I've been loving. That way you have it for when you run out. Next up, the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I actually asked for this. I'm excited to try it, but I've seen it all over TikTok. Third in this category, the Peace Out Acne Dots. I've been using these for years. If you do have a pimple, they work wonders. I know there's a lot of other brands. That's personally the one that I use. This next item is super niche, but like a high quality deodorant, which you don't really think of that. I personally use the Donna Karen Cashmere deodorant, which is on the pricier side. It kind of is ridiculous for deodorant. I can't even lie. It just smells like you're wearing perfume and it's literally your deodorant and I just love it so much. That's one of those things I feel like people wouldn't think to buy themselves. Number five is the Charlotte Tilbury contour highlight and blush wands. I feel like these have been trending forever and for good reason. I feel like if you're trying to splurge on someone, buying them high quality makeup is always a good thing. Next up is the Brazilian Bomb Dia Bright Cream. That's by Sol de Janeiro, which is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream brand. I personally like this scent better than the Bum Bum Cream. It's the lotion with the pink bottle instead of the orange one. Number seven in this category is the Elf Halo Glow. Now that's just the one I use that is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury very flawless filter so honestly either one would work i really like the halo glow i think it works well next up is the road lip glaze i've never tried this but i feel like it looks so good i really want to try it number nine in this category is a gua sha i personally have gone through a lot of gua sha so i feel like it doesn't really matter the brand i feel like ones on amazon are perfectly fine you don't need to spend like a lot of money on one i try to remember to do it and i feel like it's effective once you're consistent with it next up is the l'oreal telescopic mascara i use this every day and i feel like it really works well number 11 is the charlotte tilbury setting spray i again use this every day it usually makes my 
makeup lasts all day. It's super effective, so I feel like it's worth the price. Number 12 in this category is the Elemis Makeup Cleansing Balm. I feel like it does the job really well. I like the smell of it and I like how it makes my skin feel. Next up is Snail Mucin. I personally don't use this, but my roommate does and she really likes it. I feel like if someone's into trendy skincare, it's worth giving it to them. Next up is Lush Body Scrub. I've been using it since sixth grade. Like, I love the smell of it. I love how it makes your skin feel. And I just feel like Lush really has the best body care products. Next up is the Cold Pore Plunge Mask. I have also been using this for years. So clearly, I like it a lot and I've been using it for a while. I just feel like it's very effective without being stripping and I just really like how it feels on my skin. Number 16 is very basic, but it's a necessity and that's Aquaphor. I am obsessed with Aquaphor. So if someone doesn't already have Aquaphor or they're obsessed, buy them some more. Next is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I personally don't usually use primers because I feel like they're not that effective, but I've heard such great things about this that I'm tempted to try it, honestly. Number 18 in this category is the Dermalogica Cleanser. It is on the pricier side, but I think it's worth it. I love Dermalogica. That's my everyday cleanser and I feel like it works really well. 19 is not actually skincare, but it kind of goes along with it. It's the Makeup Eraser Towels. Again, you can get the off brands of these, but just the soft face towels to use. I feel like it makes such a big difference using those on your face versus a regular hand towel. Number 20, a good quality lip gloss. You can get these from Mary, Glossier, Dior. I love my Dior lip oil. Next up is Bumble and Bumble Hairspray. Personally, that's the brand I use. I think it's really effective and it's good quality where it doesn't feel like gross in your hair. Number 22 in this category is a shampooing scalp massager. I didn't really know what to call it. It's just that tool that you use to get shampoo out of your hair. This has been a game changer. I got it a couple years ago. I feel like my hair has been way healthier. It's easier to get your shampoo out and it's easier to get a deep clean in your scalp. That's one of those little things I feel like people don't think to buy themselves, but when you have it, you definitely appreciate using it every day. Number 23 is an ice roller. I have one of these. I actually really like it. I don't know how much it actually does. It feels luxurious. It feels like it depuffs my face and I feel like that's the intention. Next up is a face washing headband. Number 25 is the Glossier makeup bag. They have a pink version as well as a more neutral toned one. Number 26 in this category is micellar water. It's just good to have on hand. I would not use it every day to remove your makeup. I personally would use a cleansing balm, but it's nice when I'm wearing waterproof mascara or a lot of eye makeup to have that additional cleanser. Along with that micellar water, the next thing are reusable con rounds. The ones I have are made out of that same microfiber cloth material. They're super soft on my skin and that way I'm not pulling out my eyes or dragging. And then they're also just better for the environment because you can wash them and you're not throwing them out every time. Number 28, I can't really tell if this is like makeup and skincare, but it's like along those lines. It's Touchland hand sanitizer and I put it in this category because you buy it at Sephora. So I have two of these. I have one in my purse and one in my backpack. Like not only are they effective, obviously they're hand sanitizer, but they smell good. Next up is the Kosas Concealer. I've been using this for a while. I just feel like it's very hydrating and I like the formula. Then we have the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. I asked for this for Christmas because I'm hoping to try out a new one. Going along with setting powder, getting someone makeup puffs is a way to make their makeup routine feel more luxurious. I really just like setting my face with the makeup puffs. Buying someone a new set of makeup brushes is probably desperately needed. I feel like no one washes them enough as they should. Next up, buying someone a makeup subscription service such as Ipsy and Boxy Charm is a good way for beginners to test out new products. I personally had that when I first started getting into makeup in middle school. I thought it was really nice to be able to test out new things and it was an exciting thing to look forward to. I personally wouldn't buy that now because I know what products I like and I don't really want to use money on testing new products like that. But I think that if someone doesn't really know what their solid makeup routine is, that's a good way for them to be able to test it out. Next up is the Merit Great Skin Serum. Next up is a TikTok cult classic. It's the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. I don't think I've ever tried a Rare Beauty Blush, which is like actually insane because I feel like I usually follow TikTok and makeup trends. Next up is the NYX Fat Oil Lip Drip. It looks super hydrating and it looked really good on the TikTok videos I watch about it. Next up is a product I use on the daily. It is the La Roche Posay sunscreen. I feel like wearing sunscreen every day is so important and it's really not talked about enough. I just put it over my moisturizer and under my makeup and it's very seamless. You can't even tell you're wearing sunscreen. Not too expensive, but still high quality. So it's literally the perfect in between. Next up is a set of Sephora face razors. Now that is just so random, but like it's an at home version of derma cleaning your face and you do have to be careful with these. I feel like it makes your makeup sit so much better when you can remove that layer of dead skin. Next is the Peter Thomas Roth eye mask set. My favorite is to keep them in the fridge so that they're nice and cold when I need to use them. I feel like they do really work to depuff and brighten your under eye area. Next up is the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss. This is a plumping clear gloss that I absolutely love. I put so many of my friends onto this. I feel like it's a perfect topper for any lip combination because it just gives your lips a little bit more fullness and it also is just a great clear gloss overall. Number 41 in this category is Freck, which is the fake freckles. Personally, never tried it, but I feel like it's super adorable. Number 42 is an eyelash curler. This is classic, but if someone doesn't already have one, buying it for them would be an enhancement in their makeup routine. And then lastly in this category is perfume. So buying them a high quality perfume, trying to figure out their favorite scent, that could be a really great gift. Now moving on into hair care. First up is a pretty big gift, but it literally is life changing for someone who's into hair. And that's the Dyson Air Wrap. I feel like it makes doing my hair so much easier. Second is another hair product that I use and it's the Shark Blow Dryer. And I don't mean the Dyson dupe, I mean like the actual blow dryer. The Air Wrap is not a replacement for a normal blow dryer. It's a styling tool, not a blow dryer. So getting someone a good quality blow dryer definitely is also a useful gift. Number three in this category is a slick back hair kit. I personally can't tell how I feel about myself with slick backs. I did ask for like a cheaper kit on Amazon to test it 
sister out and if I don't like it I'll just give it to my sister but she does them and it looks really good on her and I know so many people who can really pull it off so if someone's into doing slick back getting them a little kit with like a brush and the gel would be a really good gift next up are hair masks so there's so many brands you can get them from I personally love Olaplex I feel like you can't go wrong with that I've also heard good things about the brand K18 next up are hair rollers this is perfect for anyone who likes to blow out their own hair number six in this category are claw clips I feel like you can never go wrong with throwing a claw clip into like a basket that you're giving someone it's not really a staple gift but it's a nice little stocking stuffer number seven splurging on getting them a good shampoo and conditioner I feel like sometimes teenagers especially college kids don't really have the money to be spending on high quality everyday things so buying them an elevated version of that that they can use every day and appreciate is a really nice gift first thing my favorite shampoo is Olaplex which obviously can be on the more pricey side but I feel like it's definitely worth it on the topic of Olaplex number eight is the Olaplex hair oil you just want to put it in the ends of your hair to keep it healthy and moisturize lastly in this category is a hair bow barrette I feel like hair bows have been really popular recently and I saw on Amazon for literally like less than ten dollars you can get a whole set of little clips to put in your hair that are already pre-bowed which I feel like is super adorable next up moving into home decor one of the things that I have both at my room at home and here is a makeup mirror that lights up I personally have a massive one you really don't need to go that crazy with it I feel like it's so nice to be able to do your makeup and have nice lighting in the morning second in this category are light changing light bulbs my roommate and I both have these because we usually don't put on the overhead lighting that way at night we can like make it pink or like change the colors around I personally feel like those are a more elevated version of LED lights that way you don't have like the strips around the top of your bedroom you can still have nice little lights in your room third in this category are throw blankets I clearly have a couple on my bed here buying a high quality blanket is something that a lot of people don't think to do for themselves but it's something that you appreciate you can tell the difference of a good quality blanket fourth in this category is a skylight number five homesick candles especially for a college student I feel like it'd be really nice to be able to bring a candle that has their home state on it now this could be bad advice because you're technically not allowed to have candles in a college store but I personally feel like it shouldn't be against the rules to have a decorative candle as long as I'm not lighting it and lastly silk pillowcases and sheets it can make like sleeping feel more luxurious next up moving on to electronics first up is a digital camera now I have had a digital camera since like seventh grade and now they're becoming popular again which I completely see why like I have always been obsessed with taking pictures of my friends and I there's so many different kinds of brands that you can get next up are airpods so there's like the classics the pros and then the maxes third is like a pretty big gift and a pretty big ask but that is a macbook I am in love with my macbook I use it for work I use it for youtube I use it for school I think it's the best investment ever number four is a film camera I documented my whole senior year on film number five is a mini printer my aunt got this for me I honestly need to bring it to my dorm because it's so useful that's how I printed out a lot of the pictures I have hanging up number six is a phone case I actually desperately need a new one I'm gonna ask for one from either wildflower or case to buy some of the best and cutest cases next up is a speaker my roommate and I have an Alexa it's super helpful and especially in a dorm if someone in your life is going to college definitely buy them a speaker because it's just really nice to be able to get ready and listen to music next up is a birdie which is a personal safety alarm especially for teen girls like it's sad I even have to say that but very useful I carry this with me when I'm walking to my car and stuff number nine this category is a portable charger I feel like you can't go wrong every kind of person can use this at one point or another then lastly is a rechargeable phone light I kind of refer to it as the Alex Earl light and I just feel like it makes your pictures so much better quality now moving on to wellness first up is a yoga mat next are dumbbells I brought some with me to college and I honestly feel like they're the best things ever like I can work out in my dorm without having to go to the gym next are ankle weights especially if someone's into Pilates. Fourth on this list are resistance bands. Lastly is a muscle roller or back cracker. Super nice to decompress after a workout. Lastly, I'm moving on to miscellaneous. First up is the five minute journal. Not only is it super cute, but I feel like it's very functional and it's good to reflect. The second is a Stanley or a nice water bottle. Third is a Lululemon backpack or any other sort of backpack that they might be interested in. I know North Face also has some really nice ones. Number four is a Marc Jacobs tote bag. I think these are the trendiest ones, but any sort of little bag like that. Number five is a classic set of jewelry. I didn't really know where to put this. I guess it could have been in fashion. There's so many good brands out there so it's really up to you investing in some high quality pieces for someone that they're gonna wear all the time is a super thoughtful gift next up is a bullet journal number seven a phone wallet and college is one of the most useful things ever eighth in this category is a daily planner next up are some games like we're not really strangers cards against humanity things like that i know my friends and i here have actually played cards against humanity a couple times in a version of we're not really strangers so it's a nice little bonding activity gets you off your phone and it's just nice to have then lastly pretty self-explanatory gift cards i came up with a good selection of gift cards in case you don't really know someone well you don't know what to ask for for clothing addicted garage victoria's secret pink airy white box skims Conan, and princess polly are some good starters obviously if you know that they have a favorite store get it there food any sort of coffee shop like dunk starbucks or a local coffee shop their favorite fast food restaurant or honestly to a local grocery store especially for college students like going off campus and buying groceries can get expensive so grocery store gift cards would actually be really nice then lastly services so pay for their nails their haircut get them a facial or a massage or something that they wouldn't purchase themselves i feel like that's a really thoughtful gift because they're going to be getting a lot of items i don't know how many people are really going to be getting them a service or an experience. 
So that is over 100 Christmas list ideas. I hope you guys were able to get inspiration for your Christmas list or to figure out what you want to buy someone in your life. Make sure to subscribe and follow my socials. They'll be linked down below. And I'll see you guys all next Friday for my next video.